Hello, hello! I'm Shane, the assistant biologist at Beaver Hill Bird Observatory, and I'm joined today by Remy, the American Kestrel. Kestrels are one of my favorite kinds of birds, and it's really no wonder why. I mean, I mean, look at them, they're adorable! Kestrels are also pretty unique among the North American falcons. For one, they're the smallest falcon on this continent. Because they're so small, one of their favorite foods is grasshoppers and dragonflies, which will hunt alongside rodents and songbirds. Even their hunting strategy is unique. They're the only North American falcon to hunt by hovering in place. To add to their uniqueness, they're also the only North American falcon to nest in cavities. They'll readily use nest boxes just like chickadees and nuthatches. This, along with their habit of coming back to the same spot year after year, makes them really easy to monitor. Combine that with their natural charm, and you have biologists all over North America monitoring their numbers and nest success. But all this long-term monitoring has revealed something a little odd. Across North America, kestrels are disappearing, and nobody really knows why. It's a very striking decline, actually. Since the 1970s, kestrel populations have dropped by nearly 50% across North America. In some cases, the drop is as much as 80%. That's four out of five kestrels being suddenly gone. It's left biologists scrambling to even figure out what's happening. Usually if declines this dramatic, there's some kind of obvious driver. Maybe habitat loss, or climate change, or mortality like window strikes or accidental poisonings. So let's do what all good scientists do, and do some investigating. Our first idea is habitat loss. That's a pretty obvious one, it's something that affects a lot of species at risk. It's also one that's pretty easy to address as long as we know a species' favorite habitat, which in a kestrel's case is animal pasture. Which would explain this. Maybe it's not just strict habitat. As cavity nesters, kestrels do depend on healthy forest edge habitat with large enough trees to be able to nest in. However, that's something that can be artificially supplemented by nest boxes, and despite there being lots of those, they just aren't really being used as much. So perhaps it's something impacting nest success. That's what DDT did to peregrine falcons, after all. But a number of nest box monitoring cameras have found that when kestrels do use nest boxes, they're still doing mostly fine. Speaking of DDT, maybe it has something to do with pesticides. Kestrels do hang out with agricultural areas, and neonicotinoids, the pesticides most commonly used today, have already been implicated in massive insect declines and bee collapses. But insects aren't a kestrel's sole food source, so that might not be the only factor either. At the end of the day, despite years of study, we still have more questions than answers. One thing is clear, however. Across North America, kestrels are getting smaller. There's some environmental condition that's affecting their health and causing their condition to deteriorate. So it might not be a single driver, it might be a number of them, all adding up to a greater cumulative effect. But if anything, this highlights the importance of long-term environmental monitoring, even in cases where things seem to be doing mostly fine. After all, if it weren't for those scientists keeping an eye on kestrels, we wouldn't even know anything was happening. Even though we don't know exactly why kestrels are disappearing, there are still things you can do today to make their lives easier. If you know of some nearby cattle pasture, you can ask to put up some nest boxes near there so you can increase the amount of nesting habitat they have. You can also create and maintain wild areas to create more habitat for grasshoppers and dragonflies, giving them more food. And lastly, if you see some in the wild, be sure to report them on citizen science apps like eBird or iNaturalist. It might not seem like much, but all that adds up to a lot of data, and it's one small step to ensure that these adorable little falcons keep flapping around.